Hello everyone, let's take a look at our next problem. Uh, so this one is to integrate cosine cubed x. So we saw a question previously where we had to integrate cosine squared x and um, it really just came down to knowing one particular trig identity. Uh, in this case, I don't know if a trig identity is going to be the easiest thing to use or if we might be able to write um, write. So the first thing that comes to mind is, you know, now that we know how to integrate cos squared, we know how to integrate cosine squared and we know how to differentiate cosine. So perhaps integration by parts is what we want. Um, so the integra integral of cosine q dx is equal to the integral of cosine x times cosine squared x dx. And um, you know, having written an integral like this, if you have a product of two functions, one that you know how to differentiate and one you know how to integrate, then um, uh, integration by parts is appropriate. In fact, I know how to differentiate this or integrate this and I know how to differentiate this. So we might even be able to do this in two ways. Maybe that's what I'll, uh, maybe I'll demonstrate that here. We'll see if it works. Um, so integration by parts I always like to do this uh, you know, fully, um, u is equal to cos x, so then du is equal to negative sine x dx, and I have dv is equal to cosine squared x dx, and so v is equal to the integral of cosine squared x, which in a, a previous video, we'd solve for that. It's x over two plus sine of two x. And so the integral of cosine cubed is uv minus the integral of v du. So we have uv minus the integral. V is x over two plus sine of 2x, and du is negative sine of x dx. Uh, this is looking ugly. I'm not sure if this is going to be any use to us. So u is cosine x, v is x over 2 plus sine 2x. And I have plus the integral of x over 2 sine x dx plus the integral sine x times sine 2x dx. Okay, uh, so that's fine. We have um, a closed form function there. Uh, this, I should be able to solve that using integration by parts again. I have something I can take a derivative of, something I can take an integral of, uh, and you know the the point of taking the derivative here is that it sort of gets more basic. Uh, and here, again, I could apply integration by parts, um, but there's also a double angle formula for sine, uh, so I could I could be able to write this in terms of sine times sine x times cos x, and then I have a sine squared, and maybe there's a substitution I can do. Um, so let's just keep this part the same. We're not going to touch anything there. Um, and I'm going to write this as i1 plus i2, okay? Where uh, we'll do i1 and i2 separately. So i1 is an integral of x over 2 sine x dx. So I'm using, I'm going to use integration by parts again here. Uh, let me take the factor of 2 out 
so we're not including that in any of our integral computations. u is equal to x, so du is equal to dx. dv is sine x dx, so v is negative cosine x. So then i1 is 1 over 2 uv x cosine x with a negative sign minus the integral 1 over 2 integral of v du which is negative cosine x dx okay so i1 is negative 1 over 2x cosine x plus 1 over 2 sine x uh, we should be able to check in our heads pretty easily by differentiating this you'll see that you'll get that okay uh, let's look at i2 now i2 is the integral of sine x sine 2x I use a double angle formula for sine 2x I get sine x times 2 sine x cos x okay so just sort of writing everything together like that and now what I've got um, I have some function here this is a function of sine x and I know the derivative of sine x cos x so this sort of lends itself directly to a substitution I'll let u equal sine x then du is cos x dx so this is 2 integral u squared du which is 2 u cubed over 3. Uh, and that should give us everything um, that we need. Okay, so the cosine of x cubed, the integral of cosine x cubed. What did we have up here? We had cosine x times x over 2 times sine of 2, or plus sine of 2x. And then we had to add i1 plus i2, so this is minus 1 over 2x cosine x plus 1 over 2 sine x plus 2, oh, I forgot to resubstitute things in here, 2 over 3 sine cubed x. So uh, what do I have here? Yeah, plus... 2 over 3 sine cubed x. Okay, well, there's some cancellation. That term cancels that one. And what am I left with here? Um, I'll even, I'll make the uh, double angle substitution for this here as well. So this gives me sine x times cos x squared plus 2 over 3 sine cubed x plus 1 over 2 sine x and I suppose I need a constant of integration through all of this. Um, it doesn't surprise me that we have this cancellation here. Um, let me just let's quickly just check make sure that this this is correct. I'm going to take some derivatives very quickly here. Um, Let's call this f. So then f prime. You know the good thing about uh, you know you can always check your answer when you're doing um, integration questions like this by just differentiating your answer. Um, so obviously the uh, I shouldn't say obviously I was about to say obviously our cos cubed is going to come from this, but that's not that's not right. <laughs> Uh, let's just let's just do this. Okay. Uh, so some product rule here. I will have negative. Sorry, I'll have um, cosine cubed x plus sine x times two cos x times negative sine x plus two sine squared x cos x 
plus cos x over 2. Okay, so I got something wrong. <laughs> um, there's our cos cubed. That is a 3. Uh, these terms are canceling. So what is going on here? What did I do wrong? What did I do wrong? What did I do wrong? I can't believe this. Um, okay, cos cubed is cos times cos squared. U is cos x. Uh, du, yes, that's correct. dv is cos squared x dx. Did I remember this integral? Oh, is that supposed to be divided by 2? Let me check, check that this is correct here. Okay, so V prime is one over two plus two, well, times plus cos two X times two. cos 2x is huh I think is my previous solution wrong yeah Okay, so my previous solution for my previous solution where we integrated cos squared, um, I multiplied by two instead of dividing, or divided, multiplied by two instead of dividing by two, or something like that. So this should have a factor of one over four in front of it. Okay, and now we can check. Now we can check. V prime is 1 over 2 plus cosine of 2x divided by 2 and cosine of 2x our trig identity tells us this is 2 cos squared x minus 1 and we can see this is clearly cosine squared x all right, so what's going on here? I should be able to track uh, the mistakes going through here pretty easily. This should be divided by four. This should be divided by four. Um, this should be divided by four. So that's the cos x times the sine double angle. Where did you go? Okay, um, let me erase this and we'll, uh, we'll check this again. So f of x is cosine x sine 2x over 4 plus sine x over 2 plus 2 over 3 sine cubed x plus our constant 
f prime. Okay. Uh, oh yeah, now we're getting something quite different. Negative sine x. Uh, in fact, let's make the double angle substitution here. So this gives us two sine x cos squared x divide by four. We can cancel some terms there like that plus sine x over two plus two over three sine cubed x plus a constant. Okay, and now Cross our fingers, hope this works. Okay. Cos cubed x divided by 2 plus sine x times 2 cos x times negative sine x divided by 2 plus cos x over 2 plus. 2 cos squared x, oop, 2 sine squared x, times cos x. Well, I am completely failing. Got a lot of things here. This is a time when I feel like starting everything over again might be appropriate. Okay. And I'm going to do this. Am I going to do it the same way? Why not? No, you know what? You've been holding on too long. Let's do this by, if I integrate that part and differentiate that part, oh, but I'm gonna have, I'm gonna have a, a mess. I'm gonna have a mess. What'll happen there? Here's what I'm gonna do. If I make a different substitution for cos, Okay, so cos x, 1 minus sine squared x. Now I should be able to make a direct substitution. So I can split this into two integrals. One I can do directly and one I can do with a substitution. Okay. So this is just, uh, in fact, integral of cos is sine, yeah. Here I've got a direct substitution that I can do. Um, if I let u equal sine x, then du is equal to cos x dx. Uh, so I've got sine x minus u cubed over 3 plus our constant. And uh, make our substitution back minus sine cubed x divided by 3 plus a constant. How does this differentiate to cos cubed? If I take a derivative of this, I get cos x minus 3, uh, no, the 3's cancel, minus sine squared times Cosine. I guess so. Factor out of cosine. Replace the one minus sine squared with cos squared. Yeah, I don't know. Did I? 
in drei Es ist uh, I'll have to check this. I'll have to check this previous solution. Just go through it again slowly, step by step. M maybe there are further identities which simplify this into the thing that I have below. Um, yeah, but I'll do that in uh, I'll do that in a follow up video. Anyway, this this clearly works because when we take a derivative, we get cosine cubed. Uh, I don't know if I've made some silly mistake in deriving this and coming up with this, or if um, it certainly looks like I've made a mistake, right? But um, yeah, I'll go through that computation again and see what happens.